so uh, before I start the video, uh, I should uh, tell you, well, you probably already noticed this, but uh, my sound quality is better now. In uh, my previous videos, it was really, really bad, but um, it should be better now. And uh, let's get into let's get into uh, Uncharted: The Lost Legacy. What's a good quote from it? Uh, there's a lot of good quotes. Uh, oh yeah, relax, you'll live longer. Hey guys, so uh, I just played Uncharted: The Lost Legacy. Um, this is, I think, the last film. Take a look at that. I've watched too many movies. I said the film. Uh, this is the last uh, game in... I'm pretty sure this is the last game in uh, the Uncharted series. And um, it's, it's a really good one. But um, I think it was supposed to be an expansion to Uncharted 4. But it's kind of like its own game now. Um, and uh, in this story... Chloe, who was the love interest in Uncharted 2, and she was with Nathan Drake, and she was in Uncharted 3 a little bit, uh, teams up with Nadine Ross, who was one of the antagonists in Uncharted 4. And this game takes place in India, and Nadine and Chloe are trying to find the Tusk of Ganesh. And so many people have been trying to find um, the Tusk. It's like nobody's ever found it or anything. Like, even um, they mentioned that Chloe's dad. Um, was like obsessed with finding it and um, everything like that. I'm not going to spoil anything too much other than that. But um, Chloe and Nadine, that's basically the plot. Um, other than that, if I tell you anything, it would be a spoiler. But this is a very, very great game. First of all, the graphics. They're amazing. I mean, it's like Uncharted 4. Like, I mean, in Uncharted 4, the graphics were, like, absolutely amazing. It's, like, the same sort of thing in this game. I love the graphics. Like, the, the explosions and everything, every little detail they try to put, it's amazing. It looks really, really cool. And... Good job. The chemistry between Chloe and Nadine I liked. They had some, it, it was mostly Chloe who had the comedy and the jokes and everything. But, um, you know, Nadine had a couple of one-liners in there. But um, I liked their chemistry. It worked well. Villain in this game is, his name is Asav. He's also trying to get the tusk. And, um, you know, you, you, you get into some fights with him and everything. But I just got to get back to the graphics and the gameplay is just amazing. The gameplay is like the graphics, of course, are like Uncharted 4, but um, it's also and it's like the same sort of really good graphics like Uncharted 4. But the gameplay is also you know sort of the same as Uncharted 4, which I really like because Uncharted 4 is one of the best games I've ever played, and this game has like the same sort of gameplay, and I really like that because in Uncharted 4, um, you know, there's all these puzzles you have to solve, and you know when 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 there's um gunfights and whatever. It's the same sort of thing here, and I really like the puzzles. The puzzles were really fun, and um, to be honest, the villain is actually pretty strong. I'm not going to lie. Asav, he's a pretty good villain, um, and the voice actors in this game are great, of course. One thing that really surprised me, but I really liked it, was um, near the end of the game, or over the halfway point in the game, a character appears that is uh, pretty well-known. Um, I won't spoil who it is. Like, it wasn't like he wasn't, he shouldn't have been there or anything. He, he fit well with Chloe and Nadine, and, um, he's a pretty well-known character if you have played, um, I shouldn't say which game, because then you can probably predict who it is, but it, it works well. Everything, mostly everything in this game works very well. I really love this game. Um, the only issue I have, I do have one is that the game was a little too short. Like, it's not like the game wasn't worth the money and it was, like, that kind of too short because when the game came out, it wasn't, like, $80. It wasn't, like, a full game. It was sort of, you know, just kind of an expansion of Uncharted 4, like I said earlier. But, um, it was only, like, $50 or something like that. For It is definitely worth the money. I love this game. But still, I think they could have added a little more in the story. Um, but still, other than that, I really love this game. The graphics was great. The voice acting was great. The music still, um, composed by Henry Jackman, was still very, very well done. 
Um, I loved the gameplay. It was like Uncharted 4, and it was still so amazing. I had a great time with this game. I, I, I think it is the last Uncharted game, so it is a good ending game. Well, it's not really a conclusion. You know, Uncharted 4 was like the conclusion, basically, but it it is a welcome addition to the series. I'm going to give Uncharted The Lost Legacy a 9.5 out of 10. I definitely recommend this game. Please play it if you are a fan of um, the Uncharted games, particularly Uncharted 4, because it's a lot like Uncharted 4 in, in terms of gameplay and graphics and everything. Um, but, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. I'd really appreciate it if you did. And as always, have a great day. Peace out.